Hey, it's Elena with Bear in Mind Planner Company. I'm back with another tutorial. This time we are gonna do stickers using Procreate. I know a lot of you know how to use Procreate, so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into Procreate, assuming that you know at least a little bit about it. Some of the things I'll explain, some of them I'll just move through. Let's get started. Procreate is an app that is in iOS that you can download. It is $9.99 one-time fee. So download that app, and here it is here. We're going to open it up, and this is what I want to make today. I want to do a flag banner and a Polaroid picture. Now I've made this Polaroid picture so it is a PNG with a blank uh, inside so that way you can actually add a photo underneath it and it will look super cute in your planners. Click on gallery, jump back over here. Now I'm gonna hit the plus symbol here and you can choose from sizes of paper or uh, dimensions that you would like. I like to use 3000 by 3000 pixels and 300 DPI. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna create a new document for me. And I wanna show you guys that you do not have to be a artist or know how to draw to create stickers. Uh, the last video that I did, or a couple of them that I've done, we used Keynotes and we used uh, basic shapes that they had already in Keynotes that were default. Um, so this time we are gonna take that a step further and we're gonna draw out our shapes, but again, they're very basic. And if you are artistic and can doodle and uh, you know draw characters and that sort of thing, Awesome, go for it. I want you to try out Procreate if you haven't already. Okay, so we're gonna get started here in choosing our color. I'm gonna choose black, and I'm gonna show you a trick to find black. If you tap on the bottom, it will give you pure black. If you double tap on that edge there with the white, it will give you pure white. And then you can add that to your color palette. I always like to use black and white um, within arm's reach away, so that way I can grab it anytime I need to. And grab my black and use my hard airbrush tool. This is under airbrushing, hard airbrush. It is part of the default library that is already available. If you click on that again, you can see that there are a lot of options that you can play with for this brush. The only thing I've done to this brush that was different than the default is I have increased the streamline and right now it's sitting at 51%. So my brush size I want at 10% right now. And I also want to turn on my drawing guide. Now go to edit drawing guide and I tend to put mine over here in the pink. I have my opacity up just so you can see the, the color and uh, you can also play with your grid size here as well. So I'm gonna leave that there. So I'm gonna draw a straight line down, hold it and it snaps it straight. I'm gonna use my other finger to make sure that it is uh, on a parallel line that I want to work with. And then I'm gonna do the same over here. Draw a straight line, it snaps too. I'm gonna to hold my finger, that way I know that it's another straight line. Now I have two parallel lines. I'm going to bring this up, and bring this up. And then you wanna make sure you connect those lines and if you see something you don't like like that's overhanging go ahead and come in and fix it a little bit and then we're going to connect these perfect and now we have a flag another fun thing you can do with this same flag come over here to your layers swipe over I'm going to duplicate that so this is the duplicated layer. Whenever you duplicate something, the duplication will jump to the top. And so I want to grab that one. I'm gonna hit my arrow tool there. I'm gonna make sure I have uniform selected. 
I'm going to pull this up a little bit and pull this down a little bit. And just like that, now I have a banner with a little bit um, dimension to it. And so I'm going to make sure I have that top layer selected and come down here to merge down. And now both of those layers are connected. So I want to color. We'll use this nice aqua color. No, I want to use, what color do I want to use? Let's use this pink color, this blush pink. And so I'm going to drag it and drop it and come back over. I'm going to use a lighter blush pink, drag it and drop it. And just like that, I have made myself a banner. Now you can decorate this banner however you want. You can doodle all over it, uh, write, you know, to do or um, this week, whatever it is that you want this banner to be used for, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to pull this over to GoodNotes as a PNG in a super simple way. Come back over here, grab GoodNotes. This is my planner right now. I'm going to pop this up on the bottom and bring Procreate right here next to me. Okay, so this is my planner over here. I still have my Procreate up. I'm just going to hold and drag. Now, since this is all the same color, you probably can't see that very well. I'm gonna jump over here to one of my sticker books and hold and drag. And I'm going to crop this right now. This is going to be so much easier on your life if you crop images as you pull them in. Okay, so now that it's done, I can move that around, uh, make that as big or as small as I would like to. Use my lasso tool. Uh, whoops. Uh, make sure I have images selected. And then use your lasso tool. Copy it. Go ahead and bring it over here. And paste it. And you have a little flag. Put that wherever you'd like. So next we can move this over, create a new layer, and sort of the same techniques. I'm still going to use my hard airbrush. I'm still going to keep this at 10%. Come over here, grab black, and this time I'm going to, I'm going to turn that off just so it's not in my way. First, I want to draw a square, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Hold it, it will snap, and then you touch again, and it will go into a perfect square. So there is my square. I'm gonna come over and do a rectangle. Whoops, I didn't grab that. Actually, I wanna do a second layer, because I'm probably gonna want to edit this hold no I'm not gonna snap to see I'm trying to do this without moving my iPad guys Good, that's not bad. That's pretty straight across. Okay, we wanna keep it like that, but now that I put this on a different layer, I can move this around, which was nice because that wasn't quite lined up. I'm gonna turn off magnetics. And put that there. If you do tiny little taps and up in the direction that you want it to go, it will move just a, a little bit, which is a, a handy tool there. I'm gonna do a free form and bring this up just a smidge. And there we go. Now I'm gonna merge these two layers. And I want to make this uh, Polaroid around the edges. I wanna make this white. And you won't see it because my background layer is white. So I'm gonna turn my background layer off just so you can see that. I'm gonna click white, drag it and drop it. And there we go. We can also add in 
a little doodle if we'd like. I love, I love to do the little hearts. There we go. We could even fill them just like that. And now this could be its own sticker just as it is, and we could bring this over into GoodNotes. Uh, but I want to take this a little bit further and I want to give it a 3D effect. And how we're going to do that is we are going to duplicate this layer. Again, like I said, this is our duplicated layer from our original. And I want to select it. Select right there. And now this is selecting just my drawing. And I'm going to grab black. And then I'm going to come back over here and fill layer. That's going to fill the whole thing black. So now this layer is on top of it. I want to put that underneath. Still with this layer that I've filled black, keep it selected. And I want to go to this magic wand here and go to Gaussian Blur. And the way Gaussian Blur works is you just slide your pin back and forth and up at the top it tells you how much percentage of that Gaussian blur you're using and so I want to get about 9 or 10 percent we'll do 9.5 <laughs> and so now I have a nice shadow around uh, the layer and to keep that as one sticker whoops I'm losing battery We've got this, I promise. I've been using it all day. Uh, we're going to merge down and there is our sticker. So I'm gonna pull up my GoodNotes app and jump over here to my sticker book and grab it and pull it over. Go ahead and crop it Remember, make your life easier. Don't crop this one too close because you don't want to crop it, crop off the, the shadow. And so see, you can tell now I have a PNG that I could put a photo behind, which is super fun. Um, <clears throat> now this being in your sticker book, like so, and uh, I jump over here here I've done one here with me and my hubby and uh, this is my upcoming week I was working on I'm going to put down a photo first because remember layers and then on top of that I can grab this one copy it and paste it And just like that, we have our cute little Polaroid photo. And then I can even grab my, my little banner over here, hit copy, and paste. Turn it off to the side, put it there. Maybe we want to put it this way. Whatever you want to do. I can resize both of these now as long as I keep them together. Put it in my little notes area. Just like that. Alright guys, well I hope I showed you something fun to do with your Procreate app. Make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. Hit that subscribe button. That way you are notified when a new video comes out. If you have questions or want me to make a video of something that you want to learn, please leave a comment down below and I will try to make that happen. Okay guys, hit that thumbs up. Bye.